Lenny Hoffman, Baron Hoffman. Leonard Hubert Lenny Hoffman, Baron Hoffman, born 8 May 1934, is a retired senior South African British judge. He served as a Lord of Appeal in Ordinary from 1995 to 2009. Well known for his lively decisions and willingness to break with convention, he has had an especially large impact on the interpretation of contracts, shareholder actions in UK company law, in restricting tort liability for public authorities, human rights and intellectual property law in particular patents. Currently, he serves as a non-permanent judge of the Court of Final Appeal of Hong Kong. Early Life Born 8 May 1934 in Cape Town, Leonard Hubert Hoffman was the son of a well-known solicitor who co-founded what has become Africa's largest law firm, Edward Nathan Sonnenberg's. Education He was educated at the University of Cape Town and then attended the Queen's College, Oxford, as a Rhodes Scholar, where he studied for the BCL degree and won the Vinerian Scholarship. Between 1961 and 1973, he was Stowell Civil Law Fellow at University College, Oxford, where he is an honorary fellow. Legal career In 1963, he published the first edition of the South African Law of Evidence, a work which became the standard text and which has since been published in four editions. After being called to the bar from Gray's Inn in 1964, Hoffman became one of the most sought-after and highly priced barristers of his generation, and was quickly made a judge, having taken silk on 19 April 1977. Judicial Career He was appointed to the Courts of Appeal of Jersey and Guernsey on 20 November 1980, and stayed in office until 1985 and was appointed to the High Court of Justice, Chancery Division from 1985 to 1992. On 23 July 1985, he was knighted upon his appointment as is customary for High Court judges. He was subsequently appointed to be a Lord Justice of Appeal on 1 October 1992 and stayed in office until 1995. In 1995, Hoffman was appointed a Lord of Appeal in Ordinary, more commonly known as a law lord and thereby raised to the peerage as Baron Hoffman of Chedworth in the county of Gloucestershire. Twinsector v. Yardley Trust Law and McNiven v. Westmoreland Tax Law are prominent examples of his judicial positions. Both cases led to differences of view between him and Lord Millet. Hoffman gave the leading judgment in Investors' Compensation Scheme Limited v. West, Bromwich Building Society in which he set out five principles for interpreting contracts. He retired as a law lord on 20 April 2009 and joined the Centre for Commercial Law Studies, Queen Mary University of London, as Honorary Professor of Intellectual Property Law. Hong Kong Court of Final Appeal Hoffman has been a non-permanent judge of the Hong Kong Court of Final Appeal since 1998. In 2014, he was awarded the Gold Bohemia Star by the Chief Executive of Hong Kong. Links with Amnesty International Hoffman's failure to declare his links with Amnesty International before ruling on whether Augusto Pinochet was immune from prosecution led to the unprecedented setting aside of a House of Lords judgment. He later commented to the Daily Telegraph that the fact is I'm not biased. I am a lawyer. I do things as a judge. The fact that my wife works as a secretary for Amnesty International is, as far as I am concerned, neither here nor there. Family Leonard and Gillian Hoffman have two daughters and two grandchildren. Opinions in Terrorism Cases Hoffman was involved in three important judgments of the House of Lords concerning terrorism, Secretary of State for the Home Department B. Reman 2000, Wanuk 47, A.V. Secretary of State for the Home Department 2004, Up 56, and A.V. Secretary of State for the Home Department 2005, Up 71. In Rifman at Paris 62, he wrote, Postscript. I wrote this speech some three months before the recent events in New York and Washington. They are a reminder that in matters of national security, the cost of failure can be high. 
This seems to me to underline the need for the judicial arm of government to respect the decisions of ministers of the Crown on the question of whether support for terrorist activities in a foreign country constitutes a threat to national sea. It is not only that the executive has access to special information and expertise in these matters. It is also that such decisions with serious potential results for the community require a legitimacy which can be conferred only by entrusting them to persons responsible to the community through the democratic process. If the people are to accept the consequences of such decisions, they must be made by persons whom the people have elected and whom they can remove. It appeared that he was willing to defer to the executive in matters concerning national security in the fairly long tradition of English judges deferring to the executive in such matters, including Lord Denning in Ix Part Hosen Ball. However, in 2004, Hoffman took a robust stand joining the majority of judges in the decision against the executive in the Belmarsh case, a V. S. S. H. D. 2004 up 56. In this case, Hoffman wrote at Para 97 that the real threat to the life of the nation, in the sense of a people living in accordance with its traditional laws and political values, comes not from terrorism, but from laws such as these. That is the true measure of what terrorism may achieve. It is for Parliament to decide whether to give the terrorists such a victory. In a V. Secretary of State for the Home Department 2005 up 71, Hoffman said, the use of torture is dishonorable. It corrupts and degrades the state which uses it and the legal system which accepts it. Notable Judgments Re Augustus Barnett and Son Limited, 1986, BCLC 170. Improver v. Remington, 1990, FSR 181. Nestle v. National Westminster Bank, PLC 1992, UGAS, CIV 12, 1993. 1WLR 1260, English Trusts Law Concerning the Duty of Care When a Trustee is Making an Investment, Hoffman's Decision Supported on Appeal. Bishopsgate Investment Management Limited v. Maxwell No. 2, 1993, BCLC 814, UK Company Law Concerning a Director's Duty to Act for Proper Purposes of the Company. Reed D. Jan of London Limited, 1994, 1 BCLC 561, 1993, BCC 646. William Sindall, PLC v. Cambridgeshire County Council, 1994, 1 WLR 1016. Resol D. Harrison and Sons PLC 1995 1 BCLC 14 1994 BCC 475 Biogen Inc. v. Medeva PLC 1997 RPC 1 1996 UC 18 South Australia Asset Management Corp. v. York Montague Limited 1996 UC 10 1997 AC 191 Cooperative Insurance Society Limited v. Argyle Stores, 1997, UC 17. Investors' Compensation Scheme Limited v. West, Bromwich Building Society, 1997, UC 28. Bank Financier de la Site v. Park, Battersea Limited, 1998, UC 7. O'Neill v. Phillips, 1999, UC 24, 1999, 1 WLR 1092. Bruton v. London and Quadrant Housing Trust, 2001 AC 406, Secretary of State for the Home Department v. Reithman, 2001 UC 47, Standard Chartered Bank v. Pakistan National Shipping Corp., 2003 1 AC 959, Kieran Anjan v. Hoechst Marion Roussel, 2004 UC 46, a V Secretary of State for the Home Department 2004 UC 56. A V Secretary of State for the Home Department 2005 UC 71. OBG Limited v Allen 2007 UC 21. 2008 1 AC 1. 2007 2 WLR 920 20. Transfield Shipping Inc v Mercator Shipping Inc. or the Achilles 2008 UC 48. Attorney General of Belize v. Belize Telecom Limited, 2009 up 10. Publications A selection of his extrajudicial writings. Anthropomorphic Justice, The Reasonable Man and His Friends, 2010-29, Tour the Law Teacher, 127. 
Language and Lawyers 2018-134 Law Quarterly Review 553